Australia has many volcanoes. Some are ancient, whilst others erupted relatively recently. In today's video we'll be looking at a more recent volcano that erupted within the past 7 million years in a place known as Sumbri in Victoria. This volcano released effusive basalt with some minor explosive elements that can be seen in rocks with vesicles. Vesicular basalt and scoria indicates the presence of volatiles and some level of explosivity, but it typically points to less explosive activity compared to the highly explosive eruptions that produce pumice and ash. One of these highly explosive volcanoes can actually be seen in the distance, Mount Macedon, which produced several caldera forming eruptions during the late Devonian. The volcano near Sumbri in Victoria is part of the Newer Volcanics province, which is a large volcanic field in southeastern Australia. There are literally hundreds of volcanic vents, but this specific feature near Sumbri is referred to as Mount Holden. All around Mount Holden are many other small extinct volcanoes, all of which include scoria cones, lava flows and volcanic plains formed from basaltic lava. Mount Holden is characterised by both scoria and basaltic components. Scoria forms during explosive volcanic eruptions when magma containing dissolved gases is ejected from a volcano. As the magma is rapidly expelled and depressurised, the gases escape and create bubbles, leading to the vesicular texture of the rock. The volcanic structure of Mount Holden includes a complex summit with rocky cliffs and ridges, primarily composed of solidified lava from past eruptions. While the summit area shows remnants of scoria, the primary visible composition is basalt. This indicates that Mount Holden experienced both explosive and effusive volcanic activity. The explosive phases produced scoria and other pyroclastic materials, while the effusive phases resulted in basaltic lava flows that solidified around the summit. On its eastern flank, a large outcropping of the basalt can be seen. As a side note, the area is full of cute kangaroos just doing their thing and grazing away at the fertile hillsides. Amazingly enough, I managed to find a very small outcropping of a quartz reef just beneath the basalt. This highlights the fact that this region was already uplifted to become a small mountainous structure prior to the recent volcanic eruptions that covered the ancient landscape that dominated the area for over 300 million years. Sumbri is a region where the gold-rich Ordovician sedimentary rocks outcrop on the surface, and the reason for that is because the township can be considered a drainage pathway. The Ordovician age sediments in the area have been exposed to the surface, and this exposure is due to the erosion processes that have stripped away the overlying basalt. This contrasts with the surrounding plains, where the basalt flows from the newer volcanics province have covered the older sediments. The region around Sumbri features older Ordovician sediments that date back over 440 million years. These sediments were deposited long before the volcanic activity that created the newer volcanics province. Erosional processes, particularly along drainage pathways such as rivers and creeks, have removed the overlying basalt in certain areas, exposing the underlying Ordovician sediments. In the case of Sumbri, erosion by streams like Jackson's Creek has played a significant role in exposing these older rocks. Gold has been found in the area, although it is considered a field with very minor amounts of little to no interest. There were no official gold mines in Sumbri. The nearest was in Digger's Rest and it was the sole gold mine in the area. It appears as though the volcanism in the area utilised a very ancient fault line that dates back to the pre-Permian to ascend. The pre-Permian period encompasses all geological time before the Permian period, which began around 298.9 million years ago and ended approximately 251.9 million years ago. This fault line, known as the Mount William Fault, became reactivated in recent times as magma from a hotspot beneath Victoria ascended. There are literally hundreds of volcanoes, both big and small, that are like Mount Holden. If this video interested you, consider subscribing to the channel, as I intend on visiting and documenting more volcanoes just like this one. If you'd like to support the channel, we have a Patreon. The link to this will be in the description and in the pinned comment down below. In summary, Mount Holden is a noteworthy volcanic feature that offers insight into the volcanic and erosional processes that have shaped the landscape around Sumbri. Its combination of basalt and scoria, along with exposed Ordovician sediments, makes it a fascinating subject of geological interest. It enriched the soils here, leading to productive agriculture, and it's a beautiful place to visit and to climb. Thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I've released a video on the marsupial lion, which existed in Australia during the time Indigenous Australians walked the continent. 
I have also covered the wombat that was the size of a car, known as the Diprotodon. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. So I hope to see you there.